I'm terrible at this. Okay. Uh, I started one already. I actually made one. Let me see where is it. So I made this. It's just for a friend who has a Chris Craft boat and he wants to put this on it. So he's just a neighbor and I'm just gonna give it to him. So it's a two layer uh, gold on top of black and these up here are a little, some people call them registration marks. Uh, really bad connection, I'm sorry, because I'm out in my shop, which is in the back of my house. So this is just the gold one. I went ahead and um, applied transfer tape to it. I turned it over and I peeled the backing away and I left the, de the decal on the transfer tape. And then I went ahead and put this back on here, leaving these exposed. So this is the bottom part and I have taped it down so it doesn't bubble up. Um, it'll help reduce some mistakes. Doesn't make it totally mistake free, but so what you want to do is you want to line up these gold boxes with the black boxes. And I'm going to do that. I have to look directly above it. Hover. Okay, and it doesn't always seem to be perfect. But you put it down. And then press it. And that last one didn't make it. I put it on my hand. Um, I'll just peel that off put it in my, I have a recycle bag. All right, so you press the top part down and then you wanna lift this up and you're gonna peel away the backing. Okay. And then you take your scraper and you scrape, scrape it down. And it just should, I'm not even looking at it, it just should line up. And it does, it, it does a great job. My hair is wet and it's dripping water all over it, sorry. Okay. All right, that's it. I'm gonna take the tape off, because I have one more to do. He's making, I don't know, He's I don't know what he makes. He's working on things in his garage all the time, on his boat. He's got like vintage, my husband calling. But here it is, there's a second one. So now I'm gonna, show you how to, how to do the other one, the third one. And then you just have this extra. I always save this, the big pieces I save in case you need them. So I, I, what I did was in the, in the software, I layered them and I had just one set of these. So I cut the, the out, outer layer with the squares and then I cut the inner layer with the squares. So, this, so these two are different sizes, the gold and the black are different sizes, but the square rectangles on top are exactly the same. So since this is the bottom layer, I'm gonna tape that down so it doesn't bubble up. And then I'm going to apply transfer tape to the top one. Now, if you were just, if you were doing a two layer and it had a tiny part, uh, you don't cut your transfer tape to the tiny part because the transfer tape is going to end up going over the whole thing. So it needs to be the size of whatever's on the bottom. These two are pretty close in size, so um, I just I make it the size really for either one. So see how this is bubbled up? You have to make sure you press it down. I should have taped it, but I'm kind of like an octopus. I use all my fingers differently. So you just line it up, start it in the center, and press it out. And then you want to scrape this down and you want to make sure it's scraped down really well so when you turn it over and peel away the top part you see I'm using my fingers to hold it down and peel away and if you something comes up like that came up you just press it with your finger it should stay I'm using Orical 651 Adhesive vinyl, it's permanent adhesive. Um, this is going on a boat, so it needs to be waterproof, permanent and waterproof, so that's perfect for that. It's going on something flat, so it, the fact that it's calendar doesn't need to be cast, it doesn't need to be 751 or 951, that's thin to go over rivet, rivets and seams. Oh, here I'm talking, I'm not even paying attention. So you see I took it off, but now you wanna put this back on below the design, or above the design, but below the registration marks. 
or crop marks, whatever you call it. It's for lining up, it's for registering it. Okay, so that way it won't stick, you know? It protects it while you're just lining up the rectangles. It's a little bit high on one side. Ah, hopefully it'll be okay. I, I didn't think my other one was, was real, real good, but he said he liked it, so. Yes. It's not being on, it's not get being put on any, I'm not selling it, it's not being put on anything being sold. So it doesn't have to be, oh, and look what I did there. I had, somehow this black one got flipped under. So I don't know if I can fix that. If I can't, then I'll just make them another one. Just, just another C. Um, it looks like I probably can fix it. I'll just lift it up. Try to do it without poking any holes. And I'll flip it. Tweezers are very handy. I recommend getting pointy tweezers. I actually sell them in my shop. They're black. It's not these. But they're pretty much the same. Yeah, I, I probably have to do this Let's see over again. But he doesn't need these right away because he's building something out of wood. excess off or you can even just lift this up and peel these away but he knows what they are he's he's actually gonna cut the letters apart cut them all apart and he's gonna put them on an arc he's making some kind of decorative piece for his boat um, so I made him three now he's making three more but anyway that's how to layer your vinyl decals are ones that look pretty hard to do. So that's it. Hope you have a great day.